Hello, guys. Well, I'm here with Lizzie. Happy Christmas to you all. Um, uh, so we hope you can see us. We hope you can hear us. Um, let us know if there's any problem. I'm a little bit worried about the settings. Yeah, there was some feedback there. Yeah, there was a bit of feedback if you can see see us or not. Um, well, and hear us mainly. Yeah, hear us is the most important thing. Um, I'm a little worried because that no comments at all coming through. No. Let's give it a second and see. No, that it should be coming through the mic. Ah. Hi. Hi. Good. So, good evening, as there. Good to, good to have you with us. Um, we're going tonight. We're going to continue with what we were doing last week. Yo, left, right. Great to see you. Um, so, we're going to continue with what we were doing last week with this uh, article about how influencers influence the food we eat. Good evening, Gabriel. Great, great to see you here. Okay, so we've got Gabriel and Victor Gabriel as well. Okay, different Gabriels. Yeah. Happy Good Sunday. It? Yes, happy Sunday to you too, Catherine. Great, great to have you with us. So, let's see, would you, would you read for me, Lizzie? <laughs> Hello, Gabriel. Okay, so let's go. With more exposure to unhealthy foods, consumer perceptions of what is considered normal eating habits may suave, weigh, squint, Skew to be unhealthier. Ethan Panzer. Close this eyelid. Audio is awesome. Okay. Fading in the mouth. There. Okay. I'm not sure what I can do about it. I, I can have a try. Fading in and out. Should we try maybe? Some, sometimes sound is not good. Uh, what's this? Um, audio. Well, we're going to have to try it like this. I'm sorry about this, guys. Maybe with an external microphone, like on the headphones. Oh, okay, could be. So, hi there, Count Beauty. Um, so you can hear Lizzie well. Hi, Natalia. So we, let, let's try this first one anyway. Yes, so both Vitali and uh, huh, and Maria go for swerve. So hello as well. Okay, so let's see. Habits may swerve, may weigh, may squint, may skew to be unhealthier. Okay, thank you, Arthur. Um, uh, my microphone is not good. Okay, let's try that one. We're going to try another. Just put it here. Let's try. Okay, I've got to adjust this. And um, can you? So, mate, ah, that sounds a lot better. Is that better? That looks a lot better anyway. I don't know. Um, let me just check this. Okay. So we've got various uh, th uh, people talking about swerve. Do you think, do you think eating habits swerve? Not really. Okay. What, what things can swerve? What swerves? A motorbike. Yeah. A car. A car. So, ooh, vibes goes for skew. First vote for something else. What is to squint? Yeah, to squint when you really can't see very well. Yeah, you squint. You screw up your eyes because you can't see. So it's not squint either. Ha. Huh. And Lavinia goes for skew. Okay, so, ha, huh, this is... Yeah, this, Some of you are changing your mind. What is a swerve? It's when you turn a car really, really, uh, you make a very steep turn and the car slides along the road and you leave rubber on the road. Yeah. 
So, ha. Huh. That can be a swerving chair. A swerving chair? Swivel chair. Yeah. A swivel chair. It turns around. Huh. Maybe skew. Swerve says, to change Count direction. Beauty. Count Beauty goes for maybe skew. Good evening to you, Pepax in Irkutsk. <laughs> you see, I remember that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, can Nouveau Rouge be a guy that move up on society? Uh, now treats low class people badly. Can because... he be a rich person? Yes, he could. So Roland's, Roland's now going for skew. You unswerving, yeah. If you're unswerving, you're always going for your um, uh, um, objective. Left, right's gone for skew, so it is skew, it really is. Yes, okay, that's to squint, as vibes put to screw up your face because of the sun shining or something like that. So, we're going to put this one here to skew, yeah. To skew. So for whoops, K E W. Yeah. So if, for example, a painting can be skew, as in it's not hanging properly, it's hanging at an angle. Yeah. Or maybe my tie could be skew. Good evening, Malak. Yeah. If so, if something's not absolutely straight, it's skew. To skew is to put an angle on something. His point of the uh, this article is skewed in favour of the banks. Yeah, swivel chair. Yes, yeah, swivel chair is rolling. Can we use biased as a synonym? Um, okay, if somebody's opinion is skewed, it's biased. Yes, we could very definitely. Mm -hmm. um, a skew. Yes. Okay, a skew is. I think the uh, the uh, this is a skew. It's a post positive um, uh, adjective. The picture is a skew, yeah, not an askew picture. Yeah. They askew. Yeah, they, they askew. Ask oh, questions. <laughs> they askew. <laughs> you see, I can't complain about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let let let's try moving great on to. Joke. Yeah, great joke. Let's try moving on to the next one. Yeah. It's swiveling. It's a swivel. Yeah, it's, a swivel. it's a swivel chair. But that's a that's not. It's not a problem. It it just introduces more interesting vocabulary into the lesson. So, would you read for me? Sure. It doesn't help that healthier foods are often seen as boring in comparison, whereas processed food is seen as cool. Says Tina Tessitore, associate professor of marketing. In advertising, you see unhealthy food in social sets, setups, settings, configurations, people having a barbecue with friends, for example, while healthy food often focuses more on the nutritional value. So, yes, Lavinia, skew is the adjective. Good evening, Oksana. Skew will end up being in a particular way. It's not straight. It's not level. Yeah, the table is skew and everything keeps rolling off it. Okay, like oblique as well, Vitali. Okay. So Gabriel Askew. and Vibes are going for settings. So Gabriel and Vibes for settings and count as well. And Lavinia for setting. I think this one's going to be a landslide. Vitali, yeah. Neog, Lavinia, Manji, Oksana for settings as well. Social settings. Social settings. Uh, it's a pretty easy one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it was an easy one. Let's see. A set. The set is normally in a film or in a play. It's the background around it, but not a social set. Um, a setup is the way you establish something, the way you put everything together. Um, or a company. Okay, the setup of a company. I think setups might just fit, but I don't like it very much. Um, settings sounds pretty good for social and a configuration, no. <laughs> yeah. Ask you a skew. <laughs> Ask you a skew. Very good. That's what left or right's playing with. So let's see. So social settings, says Abira. Maria says settings as well. Absolutely. Let's see left or right. Settings or setups? I think I prefer settings, but I think setup is just about possible as well. Um yeah, it's very easy. Even you can guess this one. 
But your English is not that bad, Lavinia. It's been improving. Good evening, Tomek. Great to see you. Good evening, Leroy, as well. So let me... Oh, I didn't actually write the right answer here, so... Going to the caps. Yeah. Screaming, guys. Yeah. Okay, social settings. Social settings! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. That's fine. So, okay, scenarios. Yes, yeah, that would be a really good one. Yeah, that? it's a good, it's a good word. Social scenarios, social settings. Yeah, it's particularly a setting. So we need to wait until we can see this yeah. here. And let's no... go for this one. Yeah, would you read? If you saw friends eating salad together, it wouldn't seem so trustworthy, reliable, feasible. Credible, she says. Good evening, Renyard. So, if you saw friends eating salad together, it wouldn't seem so trustworthy, reliable, feasible, credible, she says. So, Lavinia goes for trustworthy. Count for trustworthy. And we'll see. Let's see who else. Okay. Oksana goes for credible. Mm -hmm. um, we'll Somebody asked you to make a video on whereof, wherein, thereof, thereby, <laughs> whereby, but I guess you already have that. Mm, not those specific words. I've got there at the, um, various others, but not all of them. It's it's on the list motion. Okay. I'm from I'm originally from Oxford, and so are you. Yeah. Um so Credible for Gabriel, Neil Glepherite, Roland goes for trustworthy, Valentin for trustworthy, good evening. Uh, good evening, Elena, great to see you. And Manji goes for credible, and so does Maria Mikkonen. Lavinia says it, it is an idiom. Mm, no, not really. it's not an idiom. This one's not an idiom. It's something, let's see, I would probably use the word believable here as a mm -hmm. synonym. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> tidings of COVID and joy. Okay. And COVID and joy. joy. <laughs> so, it's it's really become an earworm around yeah. here. <laughs> okay, Rainyard for Credible. Good evening. Good evening, Jew. Great to have you. So, let's see. Trustworthy. Yeah, it's divided between trustworthy and credible. Segundo goes for credible. Uh, uh, mm, I would say standard RP, standard Southern English RP. Good evening, Paul, as well. And Haddy goes for setups. It was settings. Ha. Huh. The difference between credible and trustworthy. So I think trustworthy is something that you can trust. A person is trustworthy. Whereas something is credible, you could, it, it's believable. Yeah. yeah. But maybe you don't trust it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and so that goes for feasible. Okay, yes, I speak with it's standard Southern RP. That's cor that's correct, Neil. And Abira goes for reliable. So if something's reliable, it never breaks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this car is very reliable. I think it it can be closer to trustworthy, like you can trust or rely on some like on the person i'm sorry to hear about your accident paul but at least you're here with us this week yeah you'll be able to afford afford a tesla at a million oh. subscribers maybe maybe not feasible means possible so mm, it isn't the right answer if something's feasible it means it can be done it's not impossible yeah um, so it's not feasible and it's not reliable. The right answer here we had was credible. So I'm great, Mandira. Thank you for asking. How about you? Okay, so here, credible. Yeah, it's credible. Yeah, absolutely, Elena, you got it right. Yeah, she's very erudite. Yeah, she's a smart girl. Um, smart ass. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yes, let's see. It would seem more credible, more believable. If something's trustworthy, you can trust that it's true. But maybe here it's saying you it it could be believable but trustworthy because you actually don't see your friends uh, eating salads together. Exactly. 
so kind. Okay, Alex de Cabs goes for reliable. Well, the here there are loads of idioms in the song. Okay, so whoops, what have I done there? Okay, and let's go for another one then. So the answer here was credible. Okay, we're going to get another one. So, yeah. yeah, you didn't guess. No, but let's see. Um, trustworthy, it's not bad, yeah, but it's trustworthy. No, it's credible. It's credible because you believe it. Because something might be trustworthy, but you still don't believe it. It's still not credible. Yeah. So, would you read, please? Scientists are becoming increasingly concerned that food-related content on social media is making us think differently about food. Social media algorithms encourage, enhance, exhort, accelerate, promote content that users engage with more. So viewing more unhealthy food means seeing more of it in our social media feed feeds, Hansa says. Okay, so So promotes, promote, 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 promote. Leferite, Vitali, Gabriel, Lavinia, Count, Valentine, Roland, and Tomek all go for promote. So encourage content, enhance content, exalt go, content, go, content. Yeah. <laughs> Accelerate content, promote content. Fr Promote again for Roland, Tomek, and Oksana. So to encourage, yeah. Go, Lizzie, go, Lizzie. Go, go, go. go. Yeah, go on, you can do it. I know you can do it, to encourage. To enhance means to make better, yeah. Um, so a bit of salt in this food would enhance this food. Yes, Hadi, it was credible. So promote for Oksana Segundo. Yeah, enhance makes to make something better. It doesn't fit. It does not fit. Enhance for Renyard, for Neog, for Maria, for Manji, and for Vuslak. Good evening, Vuslak. I haven't said hello. To exalt means to put high on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, the exalted leader of our country, our glorious leader. Um, to exalt is to say that someone's fantastic and put them in a position of wonder doesn't work either to accelerate well that just means to make go faster and definitely enhance color that's a good one enhance increase yeah um so i can encourage people and not content absolutely lavinia it's perfect alex kadabs goes for promote um enhance color as maria said and yes paul goes for promote as well i think i'm definitely going to put this in here, so and P R O M O T E. Okay, so you promote the content, yeah. yes. And it's a word that is very much related to marketing, and yeah. I think that's what social media does basically. Yeah, to promote a promotion is talking about advertising. Yeah. Okay, so let's move to the next one. You see you see how smart they all are? Yeah. Oh, okay, and promote for Elena as well. The quality of English amongst this group is quite astounding. Yeah, yeah. If you, I can see. If you took a thousand people on the street, you're only going to find one or two who speak English like this. Yeah. Have you listened to the Queen's Christmas speech 2021? Have you? Nope, I haven't. <laughs> My husband and I. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't it, either. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good guess then, Lavinia. Yeah, good job. Well done. Okay, so would you read for me? Can I use engage in to? A, mm, the previous one, no. No, you can't really use engage to promote to engage to engage viewers. You engage people. Yeah. With your content. With your content. Okay. People already saying exposure. Okay, so let's let's take a look. With higher engagement and reach metrics for unhealthy food, content producers may gradually shift their content to be unhealthier to stay competitive, he says. And with more disclosure, limelight, exhibition, airing, exposure, 
To unhealthy foods, consumer perceptions of what is considered normal eating habits may skew to be unhealthier. Yeah, notice that skew again. So exposure for Lepharite, Vibes, Vitali, Valentine, Arthur, Tomek, Lavinia, Gabriel, <laughs> Oksana's thinking about it. For Count, for Roland, for Maria, for... Handy okay, for Pride, really good. Yeah, from the previous one. And yeah, exposure, Predis preposition gives it away. Yes, it does. That too. Yeah. Limelight to exhibition to airing to absolutely well done. Yeah, good job. Well done, Tomek Lavinia, um, Manji, Abira, and Handy and Neog as well. Okay, so disclosure to disclose is to show something, to show that, uh, give information that's secret. Please don't disclose this to anyone. Or maybe we had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Um, limelight is like the bright lights you used to have in the theatre before they had electricity. Mm -hmm. But to be in the limelight is so something that somebody's always is uh, very popular. It's the centre of focus. So I guess this new wave of COVID is in the limelight at the moment. Yeah. Or maybe Bojo's in the limelight for his uh, parties at uh, 10 Downing Street. More exhibition. No. Okay, to air. What's to air? To air. I'd air on my... TV? Maybe, yeah. You could... On YouTube? On YouTube. I was thinking of airing my clothes. Okay. You take yeah. them out of the cupboard and you uh, put put them there so that they can dry a bit. Uh, well, maybe you could air your dirty linen in public. This means is a, an idiom meaning to talk about private things in public. Yeah. Or you could maybe uh, air a topic that nobody wants really to talk about. So let's see. And good evening, Adam. Yeah. The test is about uh, it's. Choices of food, not no, not just advertisements, though, also about influencers. So Alex steals the limelight. Thank you, Roland. He stole the limelight. That that would work very well for both of you. Rainyard. Most seasoned sailors wear their hats askew. I love this. <laughs> it's a really, really good sentence, Rainyard. So, Elena, for exposure, to air a program on TV, to air, to broadcast, to make public, air the show on telly, air your dirty laundry, left or right likes that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Beatles on air, that's good, Renya. <sighs> Candy Trace, it's just choose the right word to go in the sentence. Yeah. I loathe to be in the limelight, it's so nerve-wracking with an A, Neog. Uh, what's the difference in spotlight and limelight? Well, I think in the spotlight, in the limelight, I think spotlight is just focusing on somebody, whereas in the limelight, it means famous publicly. So if some the spotlight, if the public spotlight is on someone, then they're in the limelight. But maybe I could uh, spotlight one of the one essay of one of my students in class. Well, maybe they're in the limelight as well. Yeah. So spotlight's just to focus on, whereas limelight has more to do with the being in, in public. Yeah, fame. I guess they are, they can be used pretty similarly. Yeah, I think very very good. Uh, air can mean vanity figuratively yeah it probably can so airy that was surprised hey, vent the anger <laughs> yeah to air your to air your views okay so haddy for exposure candy for exposure now you've okay now, uh, now you've understood the exactly the, the dynamic the dynamic vitamin, right, vitamin, vitamin c i don't get that one you you probably explain it <laughs> To air vitamin C, well, we see. We will see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Lime light. I don't know. Lime. Lime has vitamin C. Yeah. It's <laughs> it, it's citrus. I don't know. We'll see. 
<laughs> okay, so, sweetie, would you read for me? One study estimated that children and adolescents see marketing for food between 30 and 189 times per week on social media apps, with fast food and sugary drinks being the most common. But it's not just advertising, configurations, locations, positions, placements from the food industry that are responsible. We're all capable of influencing people on online. So we got configurations from Vitaly. Tomic says placements. Ah, okay, that was your question, Fives. Valentin goes for placements. This one's interesting. Yeah, Lefera, absolutely. Vibes goes for product placements. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right goes for LOL. Gabriel He's goes laughing. for placements. Arthur configurations. I think there's yes, they're Vital divided here a bit. Yeah, Vitaly went for configurations as well. Candy goes for configurations. Yeah. So let's see. Mandura goes for configurations. Advertising. Advertising configurations, advertising locations, advertising positions, advertising placements. So count goes for plate for configurations, left or right for placements, wuslap for placements. So let's see locations. An advertising location. That's the place where you advertise something. Exactly. Yeah, it's Could where be a you billboard or yeah, or on TV. TV. Yeah. Um advertising positions sounds like a job yeah i'm looking for an advertising position okay abira goes for configurations renyard for placements war on those choosing placements i love it <laughs> okay so it's definitely not locations and positions to place an advertisement that's a very heavy clue yeah you place an advertisement very definitely I, you see, I think the, an advertising configuration is the different types of advertising or the different advertisements you use in a campaign. Maria Mickenen goes for placements. So, yeah, I'm going to put you out of your misery. It's definitely placements. Congratulations. All you guys that went for placements. Yeah, congratulations to the pla to, to the placement group. An advertising configuration. Mm. Uh, it's how my computer's figured. Yeah, Oksana, I don't like any of the, the, the variants, placements. <laughs> okay, that's a, that, that's a very good answer. Um, because sometimes I don't like any of them either very much. And you've got to choose the least bad of them. Um the configuration of your computer. What else would you have a configuration? Your phone. Yeah, you could have a configuration on your phone. Microwave. Yeah. How you could also have your kitchen configured, how the different things are or placed. Place. Maybe it could have a place. Yeah. How different things are placed. Okay. But we're focusing on the how, not the place itself yeah the place itself yeah so very very good unfortunately elena it was placements so let's go on for another one and okay so advertising placements ah, position it's placements neil okay so it's good i'm uh, I, some of these questions are hard for you but many of these questions would be hard even for native speakers. Le vent, the wind, absolutely. <laughs> a, a wind from the Levant. Good, good evening, Akash. So, yeah. When we think of advertising, we think of industry trying push, trying to push a product. Trying to push, you're absolutely right. But influencers can work in the same way, says Patricia. Cavazos, Cavazos, <laughs> <laughs> Professor of Psychiatry. Content and social media from associates, fellows, peers, mates is very influential in terms of impacting what we feel is relevant and appealing and social norms of how to behave. So the meaning of the word placement is the um, putting of advertising in different places. Um, 
for example, if you've got um, uh, a set of people you need to find jobs for, you place them in specific positions. Or maybe you could, um, uh, the placements are the positions that you put people in, the places that they have to go. So Vitali and Leferite go for peers. So does Tomek and Renyard. Uh, Mars is, is thinking about it still. Vibes goes for peers. Manji for peers. Mars for peers. Ha, Leferite for peers. Morgan. Piers Morgan, you've been watching um, uh, The New Statesman with uh, Alan Bastard. I love that program. Um, so Valentin goes for peers. Count, Be Count Beauty goes for mates. Maria for peers. Arthur, Gabriel, Labira, Oksana, Candy, Wuslat go for peers. Those are the same age group. And Saranda for peers as well. Why don't you like the word mates? It's a bit too informal for this context. Mm. Yeah, and I, I let's see. I think as a word, mates fit, but yeah, absolutely. It's just too informal. It's too it. informal. Associates. These are people you work with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fellows, blokes, girls, people. From people. No, from peers. Peers, people of the same, um, huh, uh, the same age group as Arthur says. Yeah, well, the same status. Yeah. I was trying to read what you were saying about Joy Division, Tomek, uh, <laughs> because we've been listening to Joy Division yeah. earlier. <laughs> okay, so Elena goes for peers as well. Yeah. <laughs> peers is a word. Peer is also a word that is very frequently used in psychiatry and psychology, so that can also make us think that that's the word an insurrection is like a revolution yeah is where people refuse to do what they're supposed to do when a boss says peers he means other bosses and a team member says peers it means the other members is the boss excluded yeah i think the boss is excluded Absolutely. the word peers actually comes from the house of lords where a lord is a peer, and in the House of Lords, everybody has equal status, no matter if they're a lord with a million square miles of land or only 200, and therefore somebody of equal status. Yeah. Okay, good evening, Jack. Oh, yeah, mate. Get me a cup of what? Get me a cup of water. Water. <laughs> he loves this word water, by the water. way. Peer pressure. Butter. Butter. Butter's a good one. I love butter as butter, well. Butter, water. Bottle. Bottle. A <laughs> bottle of water and a butter and a butter butty. <laughs> I, I know left right lives in London. Okay, so the answer here is very uh, definitely peers. Okay, <laughs> peers, people of equal status, people of equal age. It depends on the context, the exact meaning, but it's people who are similar. Yeah. Water for left, right, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. If a, if a school teacher is talking about their peers, they're talking about other school teachers. If a headmaster is talking about peers, he's talking about other headmasters. I would guess in this class, you are all peers. So you're peers within this class. Yep. You're different ages. You're from different countries. But you're all peers because you all speak good English. And that makes you the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's go for another one of these. Wait a second because it needs to come to the other one. And by the way, these th when you get Spanish names, I can never say them in English. This Cavazo, Cavazo. But it's complicated. Yeah. Cheers, I, mate. So, I get really confused. Mate is mostly used as an interjection at the end of the sentence. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A Coke for Alex, please. Look, look for the I want a Coke video. Oh, which video? No, the one with the, the Oriental lady. Ah, Jesus, I, I want yes. coke. Yeah. <laughs> pa patronage. 
Patronage means somebody who is a patron. Normally, nowadays, somebody who goes to a shop and buys their stuff. But somebody who supports normally financially, who backs, who um, uh, says, says that this is a good. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, patronage. So they're my enemies apart from Manchira. Uh, I'm a fan of yours, left, right, as well. One of the Dutch TV channels is airing Control, so the movie about Ian Curtis and the formation of Joy Division. That's from my youth. Believe it or not, I had a uh, a, uh, a dub single, a tiny plastic little um, single of Love Will Tear Us Apart Again. <laughs> Love Will Tear Us Apart Again. So perpetuate in the sense of trigger, perpetuates. Ah, in the sense of triggers. Okay, so please read, we're getting answers. It starts to get risky, Kawatso says. I want to go for Kawatso. If the content people see, continues, perpetuates, endures, prolongs, extends an unhealthy body image, for example. <laughs> so continues an unhealthy bo body image, perpetuates an unhealthy body image, endures an unhealthy bo body image, prolongs uh, or extends. So, no, I think that's really interesting, Tom, mate. You can leave it there. Okay, so Vibe says perpetuates in the sense of trigger. Um, Vitali says endures. Manji goes for endures. Count Beauty for endures. Ox Oxana for perpetuates. Left right for perpetuates. Wusla for perpetuates. Nisla for prolongs. Neog Magna Carta. Yeah. Just Human for perpetuates. Gabriel and Maria for perpetuates. So let's start with some clues. Why can't it be endures? Okay, something endures. An unhealthy, if an unhealthy body image endures uh, when people see that content. You can't in, uh, in, in, endure something. Well, you can endure something that's painful, but that's different. That's yeah? fair. Yeah. Whereas something endures, it continues in time. Yeah. But that the object of the sentence needs to be the subject for endures to fit. Okay. And Maps for perpetuates, Maria Mikkonen for perpetuates, Elena for perpetuates. So it extends. I think extend is generally much more to talk talking about making something physically longer. Hair extensions. Mm -hmm. You don't use hair extensions. I don't use hair extensions. Mind you, I've seen your aunt do it. <laughs> um, so to extend, to extend, I extend my make hand longer. You extend a contract. Ah, yeah. bonanza. Can endure be transitive? Something endures. Endure uh, with the meaning of I can't endure this. I can't put up with it. Transitive. But with this meaning of make longer in time, uh, it's intransitive. Absolutely. It depends on the meaning vibes. But in this case, with this meaning endures, it's got to be intransitive. Yeah. Yes, yes, rise and raise is what Arthur's talking about. So Roland goes for perpetuates, Paul for perpetuates, and Abira for perpetuates. Well, we're pretty, getting pretty close to this. Yeah. Yeah, so it's perpetuates, P-E-R-P-E-T-U-A-T-E-S. To perpetuate, to make something last longer, to make it seem to go on forever. And that's the idea of to perpetuate. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would like to perpetuate uh, the belief that I'm the uh, greatest teacher in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but you are. Yeah. So triggers and drags it out. Yes, that's good. That's good vibes. 
Okay, now I understand your use of triggers. Um, induce. I'm going to look at it again. Induce. Content people see induces. You're going to need more. Induces an unhealthy body image. It could be. It's not perfect. Could per be, but I would construct it differently. It's not perfect. Yes, <laughs> I would construct it differently. Uses people to have an unhealthy body image. Yeah. Hmm. Induce an action. Let's see, Oksana, in this example, it works, but let's see. Um, it in, if this induces people to have uh, an unhealthy body image or to have an unhealthy diet. So would you read for me before they get a mile ahead of us? Yeah. Some of us are less influenced by content. But for others who are already at risk and may have symptoms of eating disorders, having more content that normalizes unhealthy eating patterns could trigger, activate, produce, promote, detonate someone to move to work towards unhealthy behaviors. And answering Neog, yes, I did. I read the Beano and the Dandy, and I had my dad's old Beanos. Which was you were really even cool. a member, a gold member of the Dennis the Menace fan club. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually, I received the Beano in Spain, didn't I? Yeah, for a long time. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. so triggers for the first one, for vibes, and Vitali goes for triggers. Yeah, and vibes at last got his trigger. Yeah. <laughs> because he was working with trigger. And trigger for Arthur, an induced coma, that's a good example, Maria. Valentine for Trigger, Leferite, Ma Mars, Tomek, Vuslat, Count, Manji. Good evening, Ronan. Great to have you. Gabriel as well for Trigger. We'll perpetuate the idea that Alex is a doyen between teachers. That's a very nice thing to say. Thank you, Rainyard. Roland for Triggers, Maria for Trigger, Oksana for Triggers, Trigger, and Abira for Trigger as well. They're all going for Trigger. Yes. And why not... Yeah. detonate or produce to detonate to detonate like to detonate an explosion you could maybe a a very um an argument could detonate <laughs> yeah or yeah i don't detonate is much much too violent for this yeah you don't promote someone you you promote you promote an idea, promote someone to move, would promote movement towards unhealthy eating, but not someone. Yeah. Would produce someone to move, would produce more unhealthy eating in people, would activate, would activate unhealthy behaviours in some people. But you trigger, trigger somebody to move towards, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. So, let's see. Trigger for Abira, Renyard, Elena, Nilesh for Just Human. Heh. Heh. Tomek, I think that is something that must remain a mystery. <laughs> and Maria says, a bomb. Good evening, Hussein. Great to have you with us. That could stir up someone. To move towards i would probably say stir someone up towards moving but yeah stir up i guess would work hussein as well so what's the right answer lizzie to trigger to trigger absolutely Good job yeah when when there's a landslide like that they're nearly always right yeah, yeah no, normally if it, there's a landslide i think there's a uh, there's only ever been one where I've had a landslide for one, and, uh, and I managed to get everybody wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's cool. But I think there's only one in like a year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got to wait a second to see. So let's see. Yeah, we we're still got we're going fine. And but while studies have found that social media can make us think differently about food. And that we typically engage more with content featuring unhealthy food. It's uncertain yet whether this actually interprets, translates, alters, expresses uh, to changes in our behaviour in daily life. 
So to de detonate a bomb from Maria, exactly. absolutely. You detonate a bomb. You detonate a bad situation. Yeah, you detonate an argument, detonate a fight. Okay, so whether this actually interprets to changes, translates to changes, alters to changes, expresses to changes in our behaviour in daily life. So, Vitali, Oksana, Paul, Valentin, ah, so wait a second. Vitali translates, Oksana translates, Paul's talking about trigger for the previous one, and that's right. Valentin, Arthur, and left or right for translates. So, why are you all so sure it's translates? Gabriel for translates as well. Oh, pretty sure it's translates. But why? Yeah. That's the question. Mandikan goes for alters. alters. Roland translates. So why do you think they're so... I think it has to do some, something to do with the preposition. Yeah. So Vuslat says translates, just humans for translates as well. Because interprets two changes. Interprets, well, interprets itself into changes, mm. maybe within two, but I still don't like it. Yeah. To Me interpret, either. to, yeah, uh, understand, well, to interpret, to change, either to change into a way somebody can understand, or how do you interpret this information? Changes in behaviour are interpreted. Yeah. Okay. And expresses, this e expresses as, change, as changes in our behaviour in daily life. That works exactly. quite nicely. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So look at this too. This two here is key to this. Yeah. Would you interpret this into in, into Chinese for me? To translate to very definitely to alter. But not alter to. No. Well. And alter already has a similar meaning to change. Yeah. So we would already go for this. Actually, alters our behaviour in daily life. That's very good. Expresses. Okay. Expresses. No, no preposition. Yeah, expresses, as change, as changes. Expresses as expresses changes. Okay, detonate to blow up the parliament. That sounds very um, Guy Fawkes. So <laughs> translates to absolutely translates to yeah yeah. Because you've chosen interpret to confuse us. Translates, absolutely. To translate to, yeah? And Elena goes for translates as well. So let me scroll. We'll have to wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ayad, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you with us, Ayad. And Akash. Bonanza. A bonanza is when you've got lots of something. It's like a bonus, um, something extra, something that uh, you, you've you got lo lots of it. So when um, w when the government changed the law that said everybody had to speak English, it was a bonanza for my business. Yeah. OK, it's so a bonanza is something that's really good for you. OK, so would you read? Because the answers are starting to yeah. flow in. If I'm scrolling, rolling, leafing, flicking through Instagram, looking at photos of tasty food, whether I seek out the food I'm prompted to seek out depends on how hungry I am and whether it's appropriate in that moment, says Higgs. And when we do eat, we're influenced by more than what we've seen online, she adds. OK, so scrolling for vibes, Tomic, Leferite, Mandikan, Gabriel, Vitali, Count... Mars, Wuslat, Just Human, Manji, Renyard. And Naveen goes for flicking through. So we've got one different one. What's flicking mean then? Neog goes for translates. Flick. Depends on how you check your social media. <laughs> <laughs> flicking through. Actually, I'm thinking about this. Yeah, you could do that. That, yeah, it it does work, doesn't it? Could it? work. 
I hadn't thought of that, but yeah. 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 Leafing through Instagram booklets. Okay. Yeah, but of course you would have to have those booklets and paper. Okay, yes, Neil translates for the previous one was fine. And scrolling. Roland's going for flicking through. Hmm. <laughs> So Instabook and, uh, and Facegram. You can flick TV channels very definitely for whether or not, sir. <laughs> OK, so you don't roll through Instagram very definitely. You, don't roll through Instagram. you normally leaf through a book or a newspaper. A leaf of paper is turning over. Mm -hmm. You can also flick through a newspaper. And I'm going to accept the answers for flicking yeah. because thinking about it, you can, with your phone, you could very definitely flick through. But the answer is scrolling. Yeah, you scroll up, you scroll down. Absolutely. So scrolling, but flick, I think flicking through is also acceptable. Yeah. Yeah, I flicked through the book. I looked at it superficially. Yeah, I just flicked through this. Okay, so, yeah, you you scroll through Instagram. You can definitely flick through Instagram as well. Bad question by me. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the next one says in a minute. Yeah, whether or not, sir, this is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind. But he says, for whether... No, not. You don't necessarily have to use or. You don't, yeah, whether or not. or not. Whether or not. You can use it. Whether to do something or not. The not is optional, but you can use it. Can it also be at that moment instead of in that moment? Yeah, at that moment, in that moment, sure. very definitely. So, time to read. Research would suggest that when making a, the, or no article at all, decision about what and how much to eat, we are collaborating, combining, compounding, cooperating different pieces of information, says Higgs. Momentary influences come together in ways we don't understand very well. Okay, glib is silver-tongued, insincere. Look at the video I've got on Glib. It's a very good one. Uh, a Glib salesman who always knows what to say. So, count beauty for a decision, left or right for a decision. Tomek goes for combining, Gabriel for a. Yeah. A cobbler's a person who makes, sh who repairs shoes. And Valentine, a and combining, count beauty combining, left or right combining, Oksana, a combining. Vitali A combining, Gabriel combining, thank you, Carti. It's kind of you. Making a decision. A and combining for Manji. Yeah, a cobbler, a person who repairs shoes, Akash. And Buslap, A and combining. And Mandy Khan goes for A and collaborating. A and combining okay. for Maria. So they're mainly all going for. Z could also be used. There we go. Well done, Arthur. Yeah. When I read this, I, I went for A, but the thing is it could also be the, because we're already talking about food and how much we eat and what we eat all the time. So It can be a specific decision, and this specific decision about what and how much to eat, yeah. or a decision, as in one of the decisions, yeah. and they're both valid. I like that. Well done, Arthur. The only one that couldn't work is not writing an article. Absolutely. And Saranda goes for combine, Renyard for A and combining, Quisane for combining, export English. Ah, I, I haven't heard it, but I can see exactly what it means left or right, because English is no longer the property of the British or the Americans. It belongs to you guys, not to us anymore. Yeah, because you there are more of you than there are of English speakers. And Sultan goes for A and combining. So we're collaborating. You collaborate with someone. Exactly. Yeah, we are collaborating to give this live stream. 
Yeah, also to collaborate to help the enemy during wartime. Combining, to put together, compounding. It's normally to put one thing on top of another. Yeah. Um, to, in the sense of to gather information, maybe? Compounding, compiling. Compiling, yeah different pieces of information and cooperating well this is like collaborating we're um cooperating and collaborating together so yes all of you like a we also like the yeah and so does arthur mm -hmm. and then combining yes Yes, so you're combining, you're putting together different pieces of information. No, I mean, it's a term that means a simplified version of English that's easier for foreigners to understand. You mean like Pidgin English? Ha, huh. <laughs> that's interesting because Pidgin English used to be spoken, uh, I think you might still find it in some places. So, knock, knock, Neog, who's there? Uh, did I go? No, I'm not perfectly right. So, when making a decision would be used in export English. No article at all. Okay. Yes, <laughs> when making decision. I love it. <laughs> I love it, left or right. I'm going to look up this export English. It's, a, it's an interesting term. Yeah, uh, as in we need to communicate, and who cares about the articles or little small details? As long as you understand what I'm offering, you have enough money, and I can supply it. Yeah, that sounds very good. I like it. So, would you read for us? Research has found that 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 <laughs> these influences can include <laughs> strength, size, magnitude, level of nutritional knowledge, body ideals, cooking skills, and cost. Okay, so research has found that these influences can include strength, size, magnitude, level of nutritional knowledge, body ideals, cooking skills, and costs. Uh, okay, so in India, English is the integrating language for communicating the different states of the people. I can see that because not everybody speaks Malayalam or um tamil or there are many different languages mm -hmm. so tomek goes for level so does count so does buslat gabriel says in other contexts making decisions or making the decisions about would both both making decisions about making the decisions about yes they would be valid yeah. the articles are a very difficult thing for some people gabriel it's why I include um uh, questions about them. So Sultan goes for level and Manji agrees with Mandikan. Yes, I agree with him as well. Okay, Mandikan says Mandi magnitude <laughs> and Neelish goes for level. level. Okay. So let's see. We have strength, nutritional knowledge, size, nutritional knowledge, magnitude, nutritional knowledge, which is also being mentioned by the yeah. lot. And level is the last level one. Level of nutritional knowledge. So let's see. Level for Tomek Count Vuslat, Sultan for level, Mandikam for magnitude, Nilesh for level, Renyard for magnitude, Mandira for level or magnitude, Leferite for strength, mm -hmm. um, Mars for magnitude, this is going to be an interesting one. Yep. Huh. So let's see. Size of nutritional knowledge. Maybe. How much do I know about something? What do you feel about magnitude? I'm not too convinced about using magnitude here. The earthquake was uh, of a magnitude of 6.8 on the Richter scale. Mm. Um, the magnitude. It sounds very formal, rather scientific. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm not I don't happy. think it really applies to knowledge. Like, the magnitude of knowledge. Okay, yeah, like very philosophically. Okay, so 
Um, Maria's gone for level. Elena's gone for level. Left, right says level is the best one. So left, right. Having said level is the best one, you really worried me. Strength. Strength of knowledge. The strength of his English. I think it's probably acceptable. It's not the one they used. Size of knowledge. It's probably acceptable again. Magnitude as in an amplifier. Yes, Dashon. Magnitude is more of a more of jargon. So Roland goes for magnitude as well. Oksana, level, but I don't like it. There has to be something else as well. Yes, the the, the level of I would say something can include the level of the person's new. Uh, knowledge about nutrition. Yeah, that I would sound a lot better. I quite agree with Oksana. So here. unfortunately, the the answer is actually level. Yeah, the answer is level. But we are we are also divided about this one. So in the original, they used level. Level. But I'm happy to accept size, and I'm also happy to accept strength. Magnitude, I really don't like very much. Yeah, I mean, Too technical. What else could we say here, apart from those four? Um, due to the include depth of nutritional knowledge. I like that a lot better. Amount of nutritional Amount. Amount. Uh, I, I, I like depth. I think depth is a really yeah, good word. Really good so good evening, Lante from Avicinia. Great to have you. He didn't realise the magnitude of his mistake. That's absolutely right. So let's do one last one. Sure. It's now where we're, this is now we're in overtime. We're in time. We're in time for stop injury time for stoppages. <laughs> so wait a second, because it's not through yet. Uh, extent. Extent. I like that extent. Really the good. extent of their knowledge. That's a good word, Arthur. Yeah. On all accounts. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> You're right on all accounts. Well, scientific is technical. Yes, absolutely. So, read for me. And while researchers can relatively easily, hmm, double, <laughs> double adverb, isolate, cloister, quarantine, locate possible influences on social media to see how it affects our diets, there's much more going on in real life that these studies can't look at, Higgs says. I like that double adverb with yeah. relatively easily, easily plus, possible, a, plus yeah. a verb. Pl plus a verb. Yeah, I, I'm, it's something I, I look for for students to make to do sometimes. It's not not so easy. It's not an easy thing to do. So, good evening, Lamia, and depth of nutritional knowledge says R Roland. So, isolate for lepharite, vitali, wuslat. Van oh no, wait a second. So, isolate for lepharite, locate for Vitali, Vuslat for locate, Valentin for locate, Mandikan for cloister, Roland for locate, Count Beauty for isolate, Dahom for isolate, Renyard for locate. I've got a, we got a big split today yeah. in this one. Mandura for locate, Lamia sends us a Swiss heart. Okay. Teachers usually isolate naughty students. No, well, it's a good it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Time out. Yeah, time out, yeah. Um Sultan goes for locate, Gabriel for isolate, Stjorn for isolate, Igor for isolate as well. Yeah. Saranda for locate. So what do you think they mean by, they want to mean, can relatively easily take out and see that thing on its own? Take care. It's great to have you, Tomek. Yeah? <laughs> okay, yes, we, he, he's probably got to go. And isolate for Maria and John isolation. So... They're not. We're not going to quarantine influences. No. Quarantine. If I get COVID, I'm probably under quarantine. Yeah, something dangerous happening there. To cloister. Let's see. To lead a cloistered life. A cloister is like a rectangle where monks or nuns live. Um, cloistered means separated away, sequestered. 
Yeah, he's had a very cloistered existence away from society, away from reality. Yeah. So while contrasting is needed on social media, there's much more going on. And that's the contrast. There's much more going on. Yeah. I like it when the majority get it wrong. Yeah. So do I, left or right. Yeah. Both isolated and locate work fine, says the home. Yeah. And I'd say it should be like an experiment with influences. Place. I'm off the wagon here. <laughs> yeah. I'm off the wagon here. This one, this one's quite hard. On How earth they can isolate influences. That's a great question. Ah, but you can isolate something by finding exactly what it is. I'm trying to find one factor. I'm trying to isolate that factor. Yeah. Because we didn't get to, the, I think we didn't get to that part of the article yet, but they kind of isolate the, the fact that the amount of followers influences how people perceive healthy eating. So they isolate it by using the same pictures in two Twitter accounts, is it? Yeah. But it's truly difficult to isolate something that has to do with an influence or a perception. I do agree with you there. To locate possible influences. Locates to do more with location. Where, where are they? And I would say locate gives the idea of which web pages they're on, which accounts they're on. To isolate, to find which is the single effect on its own. And that's how you isolate someone. So the the answer that they used is isolate. isolate. And thinking about research, it's all about isolating variables. Yeah, to pinpoint. That's, there's an idea of pinpointing. That's it. That's the idea, Vitaly. You are pinpointing uh, exactly which of the influences. Yeah. I I say you late. I so late. There you go. And that was why the answer is <laughs> isolate. Maria doesn't get this. Okay, you want to pinpoint, you want to find exactly which things have poss are it's possible to have the influence of. So, for example, there is COVID all over the UK, but I want to isolate the places with the highest incidence. Yeah. To take those out of the data and hold those on their own. Yeah. Just see what specific thing is the influence. Nitpicking. Separate distinctly. Nitpicking. Yeah, to, to, to find the smallest detail that is relevant. Yeah, because is it the influencer? Is it the pictures? Is it the food? Is it the person? Is it the colour? Is it the colour? Okay. Yes, the bees are still alive and they are looking <laughs> yeah. absolutely great. I got five good <laughs> hives at the moment. Okay, so to isolate, pinpoint, separate distinctly. Those are very good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish tonight. Thank you very Thank much you for guys. coming. You've been a wonderful audience. Falling off the wagon, but not getting the not getting the idea of something. It works. Fall off the wagon as an alcoholic that starts drinking again. But yes, I've fallen off the wagon. You're not up to things. I think you could probably use <coughs> locate possible influences, but I prefer isolate because location is talking more about where they are rather than identifying the influences. No, she's not scared of the bees. Yeah. So thanks for having you. Of course, it's been a pleasure, Vitaly. Thank you, Oksana. Thank you, Count. Thank you all. It was really nice. Happy to... Christmas to all of you. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Yeah. Tidings of COVID and joy. COVID and joy. Oh, tidings of COVID and joy. <laughs> Okay, I will be back next week at the same time, inshallah. It's been wonderful to have you. Thank you so much for coming. You're a wonderful group as always. Please stay safe. Stay away from this horrible